Let me tell you guys something. Do you, did you know that every highly successful person wakes up very early in the morning? What time do you wake up at? Today at the morning, I was supposed to wake up much more earlier, but instead I woke up pretty late. I missed my meeting and I was like, oh no, what do I do? And then my dad said, Sanvi, go dress up first. And I said, okay, I had to get dressed, I had to brush my teeth. Then, I had to join my Zoom meeting. My dad said, okay, son, be quick. You're gonna be late. And I said, okay. I got my iPad and I typed in the meeting ID and the password, and then I joined my Zoom meeting. I was about to say hello, but then one of my students took over and I wasn't even able to say hello. You might be wondering, well, Sanvi looks like you didn't join earlier. Yes, I know, I did not join earlier. But this proves that everybody can be a leader. Because you see, some of them really follow me, but since I taught them to be a leader, me and my dad taught them to be a leader. They started to learn from us. And now some of my students are really good at public speaking and taking over. And their English is fluent. One of my students were taking over. I saw some of them were not exactly listening, but it's okay. And my students, they weren't followers, they're were leaders. Everybody can be a leader if they just, number one, learn about it. And number two, if they start to practice it. And now the student who, have, who has taken over my class, they are a leader. But they left pretty, and they, I believe they glitched out of the meeting and then nobody took care of the kids at all. Then I asked one of my cousins who were in the Zoom meeting and they started to take over, but I don't know if they continued. In the meeting, it was very good. And I really liked how there were leaders because leaders, they never follow. Leaders, they lead by themselves. And they, were, and they were not following me, definitely not following me because they're not my little ducks anymore. They're big and strong now and they're the leaders too. And I'm so happy that my students were taking over today. And I was able to leave the meeting and they were still continuing. And that was pretty late for school, but that was okay. The school officer, which is also known as my best friend, he said, hello, Sandri, I can see you are a little kind of late today. And I said, yeah, pretty much. Even though I didn't come first, I believe it's okay, right? He said, oh, Sandri, that is okay. I was very happy that I, that I was able to meet Dr. Well, not Dr. Sorry, excuse me. Officer Sneed. And yes, we're having a little conversation for like two minutes. And then after that two minutes conversation, I had to go inside. Went inside, saw everybody there. But some of them were downstairs eating breakfast. I came in and my friend said, hi, Sanvi, the teacher wants to see you because do you see that, because you, do you see that like the tech board right over there? Well, you can see your name, right? And I said, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go in. And Miss Anderson, she told me I was only missing 
one assignment to do. And it was pretty easy. Like it took me like five minutes. I had to do an assessment. I had to complete the assessment for science. I completed it in five minutes. Then my friends came inside our classroom and I had to go to the bathroom real quick before they could start the Lee Live. And I, make sh and I made sure that I got my math journal and my pencil case. I went to the bathroom and they were waiting for me just for a little bit of time. And then I went back inside the classroom and they started the Lee Live. They had chicken today and I was like, they had chicken and rice today and I was like, okay, guess I'll take the yogurt meal. I took the yogurt meal, there was a big cookie and yogurt in it and they also got some fruits. Like there's like this pineapple and I got the pineapple and I got it on my tray. I even got a silverware and I even got, well, I didn't get my milk because I'm not gonna drink milk. I got everything and then I went to my table and then I started to eat with my best friend. And my best friends are Navika and Ariella and a lot more. But they were the two people who stood with me. And we started to talk because I think this is gonna be a little bit harsh. I think it's gonna be like very rude that I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be very rude I'm gonna say right now, but me and my friends, we actually agree that if like second graders, third graders, well, first, well, let's just say first graders, second graders, and kindergartners, whenever they fight, it's like pretty silly. So we were seeing that there was like these, so we saw these kindergartners and they were literally fighting over something in lunchtime. We saw them because the table is like right next to us. And we saw them and they were saying, oh, do you guys have a crush on somebody? And, and, and at first I was like, are they talking to, are they talking about crushes? And then they kept saying, yes, 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 yes. And it was like pretty awkward, but then it was pretty funny because then one of the kindergartners got mad and the other kindergartner was like very sad because uh, the kindergartner who got mad was gonna tell him that kindergartner. And then the kindergartner said, teacher, can I go to the bathroom? So it's like, that is the trick to make your friends, like to make your friends follow whatever you say. And that's actually pretty funny because that's what we used to do as kindergartners. It's kind of like a comedy. I'm very sorry if I'm being pretty rude, but I believe that is kind of true. And I was really happy and I felt and I felt pretty bad for the kindergartner who was sad that she was gonna get told on because I think she was like really good to start to cry when she was when she heard the girl who got mad. Teacher, like I think she was gonna be pretty sad. So I feel pretty bad for the girl who was going to get told on. But good but good thing you didn't get told on. After lunch, we had to do Elon. We did Elon. First we had to do writing. Writing I still have not completed. I'll try to complete it tomorrow. And we did reading next. Reading was pretty easy. Anyways, back to the topic. And after we did reading and writing, we had to go to specials. But since everybody almost completed the reading and the writing, Ms. Anderson had to give us a quick announcement. And I was so happy. I was like, ooh, what's the announcement gonna be? And Ms. Anderson said, Everybody, we are having a holiday on, on Thursday all the way up to Sunday, I mean Monday. And I said, I rolled my hand and I said, why? Because Ms. Anderson said, well, there's gonna be Columbus Day and then there's gonna be a Native American Day. And then you guys have your two holidays and another holiday, I don't know. And we had, Four holidays. Yay! 
And she also said, okay, real quick, everybody. You may be wondering why do we have a break on Friday if there's not gonna be any type of special day on that. And then everybody in my class said that. And the teacher said, oh, well, it's because on Friday, we are having teacher conference day. And I was like, no way. I'm so excited to have teacher conference day. But I hope that I get good grades because a good grade is actually really matter to me. I try my best and what I think I'm doing good in, I think I'm doing good in, I think, I believe I'm doing better in social studies because social studies, that's how like a public speakers all do it. And my dad said that social studies, it's like social and social studies is related to public speaking. So I'm trying to get much more better grades in social studies. And my favorite subject is still math, but I think I have a second favorite subject, which is social studies. And I really like public speaking a lot. Anyways, back to the topic. Then after that, we had to go to specials. We had PE again. And this time there were second graders. So first we had to run around the little, it's, it's not outside, but we have like a big PE room where there's like these little, like there's a, like a big square you have to uh, walk over. And this is actually pretty funny. So we're walking right, like we're walking behind uh, second graders and there was a boy who was playing with one of the girls and the boy just started to push her and the girl said, hey, stop. And then her other friend was just pushing her and the friend in the middle was like, what am I doing here? And then the boy, he just started to run off and then me and Avika said, and then Avika said, I think uh, he has a crush on her or that other girl or that other girl or that boy had, or that girl has a crush on that boy. And I said, I mean, my Navika, I believe that's kind of true, but okay. And it was like really weird at how I saw them. And I, and I, was, and I said, please don't touch each other when they were pushing each other. They still didn't listen, but since we're fourth graders, there's no fifth graders just yet. But when it's gonna be like the nine weeks, like after the nine weeks, we will be finally able to have the virtuals come to our classroom. And fifth graders will start to come back. And the fourth graders are actually the leaders of the houses right now. So they didn't listen to us, even though we're supposed to like be taken over, like even though we're like the leaders of the kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders. Since we are the ones who are just taking over right now because the fifth graders are in a different classroom, like all of them. And and not everybody is, a, is at their exact color house because there's like this nine weeks and stuff. And, and also we saw that there were like the kids and the kids were not listening to me. They kept, the boy and the girl just kept pushing each other. I was like, can you guys please stop because you guys can't touch each other. That's what the teacher said. Still didn't listen. I said it 10 times, still didn't listen. But then the boy finally ran off and he went to his guy best friend. Sorry. Next, what happened is that we had to do our cool down. Like we did yoga. Like I think it was like, the, I think the, and then at the last thing, at the yoga thing, we had to do this. And then Coach Bear said, okay, so since so you guys are done with practicing like lockdowns, fire drills, cell, shelter alerts, anything, right? And then I said, and then everybody said, yeah. And then they did not tell them enough that there's gonna be a fire drill. So, well, they're doing fire drills for safety so that the whole school can practice it. And then Coach Bear said, Okay, so we're actually gonna have a fire drill. So everybody line up. Fourth grade is gonna follow me and second grade, you're gonna be following Miss Shannon. 
since there's like another designer, it's like a creator or a design teacher, they always like switch up, like they switch roles, like what's gonna be FPE, what's gonna be FPA or design, what's gonna be FPE, what's gonna be FPA design. And we followed the main PE teacher. And then we sat down, he had to sit down on the grass and there were ants everywhere. I mean, like not exactly everywhere, but they're like ants. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna sit down like this. And everybody was just putting their legs on the grass but on the sidewalk, they just put their a butt on there. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna do the same. So I did the same. But some of them were just sitting crisscross apples also on the sidewalk. And one ant actually bit one of my friend's legs. Then I felt pretty bad for them. And then next, after the fire drill, we were able to play on the playground for 10 minutes because the fire drill was so long. So we only had like 10 minutes left. So then we played on the playground for 10 minutes. Then we had to go to our classroom. We went into our classroom. And since I had a wiggly tooth, I kept wiggling the tooth all day long. And I still have it, as you can see right over here. And over here, you see? So wiggly. I'm about to get it out though. <laughs> and I kept wiggling it and then blood started to come out because I just kept doing it with the napkin. Like I had a napkin and then just kept getting it out. And then he said, okay, zombie, that's a lot of blood and that's a lot of your saliva. You should probably get a new napkin. And I said, okay, I got a new napkin and I sat doing it again. And then Miss Anderson, she said, okay, everybody, now we are going to be doing science. And I said, oh, science, that's pretty nice, I guess. We did science. And for science, we have to do like a little assessment, that's all. So we did our assessment. And it was like the same question from the last, 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 you know what I'm saying? Last, 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 last assessment. And I said, huh? Mom said, this is the same thing from the other classes. And she said, oh, well, we're gonna do it one more time to review it, I guess. And I said, okay. We reviewed it and we had to put the answers because we had like a little text box. Yeah, text box. And yes, it was on my pet, so we had a text box and we wrote down the answer. I wrote down the answers and I was like 10 plus to the finish, the finish. I was probably like the six to finish or the seven. I don't know, like six to 23, I mean, 22. And I, uh, I asked Miss Anderson, what are you supposed to do? And Miss Anderson said, okay, real quick, after you are done, next what you're gonna do is that you are going to be playing. You guys will be having free time, or I can do free ride. And I said, "Ooh!" And then Miss Anderson said, "And no prodigy, no garage band." I was pretty sad. No prodigy, <laughs> but at least we had sketches pro to do. I had sketches pro. I traced a beautiful fox which is actually one of, one of the foxes that I want to get. And I was really happy. And then after science, next what I had to do is that we had to, well, it was really easy. So then we completed everything. We had to pack up. She called the rose in, she called the rose. And I, and when she called our row, I was able to get my, a backpack. I put my stuff in there and I removed my water bottle. And then I packed it and then Mr. Anderson said, okay, the car riders are gonna go, but first everybody wipe your tables. So me and Abika wiped the tables and even the chairs because she said, okay, Sabi, you have to do the tables and the chairs too, everything, even the caddy. And I said, okay, okay, okay. We did it. Yes, we did it. Then I went downstairs and even the other car riders, which is R of Nevade and Jalen. And yes, they did allow me to use a name. And then next, we, and then we went down the stairs and then we went outside. And then I, I saw one that my dad's car wasn't here. Oh, and there was also one more girl, Isabella. She's a car rider too. And since I was behind Isabella, Isabella said, well, sorry, Mason, you go first since you are always the one who goes first. 
I'll let you go in front of me. And I said, thank you. But I feel pretty bad because my car wasn't there. But then after like 50 seconds, or like 10 seconds, when she said that, we sat down. And then my dad's car came. And then he said, 9.53, 9.53, come down here, please. And go to your car. And I said, oh, that's me. Bye, guys. And they said, bye. I went inside my car. My dad said, hello, son. How are you feeling today? And I said, I'm fine, daddy. How about you? And then my dad said, I am fine, too. And my dad, he drove us home. We were talking about the farm that we were, that we might be able to afford now. And and I was also talking about college. Like I asked my dad a question that I don't really, that I didn't really know, knew about until now. So here's a question that I asked my dad. Daddy, people say that when you go to college, you have dorms and can't exactly pick your partners. My dad said, yes, son, that's true. And then my dad gave me the idea to make my own school, which has any grade like a daycare all the way up to college. And I said, hmm, but daddy, that's gonna be expensive. And my dad said, well, no need, son, if you're gonna keep making videos and then you'll become rich and you'll use the money in good, de good deeds. And I know it's on you. And I said, yeah. We drove home. My grandma opened the door because she saw our car. And my grandma just waved at me and she said, and she smiled really, and she smiled with her teeth like this. And I said, hello, Nani. And Nani in title means grandma. So I don't say how to them. I said, hello, Nani. And then she said, hello. And then I went inside the garage. Me and my dad went inside the garage and we put our shoes. Then when we put our shoes, we went and I had to put my jacket off. I put my backpack down and my back is sweating and it's still sweating. Wow. And I even changed to my clothes and I'm, and I just changed into these clothes. Adidas, that's what my mom's, my mom's brother, wife gave to me. I don't know. And then after that, next one is that, or it's either my mom's mostly, I don't know. And then after I changed, I went downstairs to eat. My dad called me and said to make this video. And I said, okay, dad. So I came upstairs, he helped me to, upload the video that I was that I did on like the 10th the 10th of the like yesterday I did the video and I had to put it on YouTube so you guys can check the video out right now I think it is made yep I believe it's uploaded sorry excuse me and then I made this video so this is what I did right now and I want to give you guys a quote real quick let me tell the let me tell you the quote if you sincerely want to change your life, raise your standards. What changes to what changes people is when their shoulds become must. By Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is my first idol. Even my dad is amazed by Tony Robbins. And first, my dad was amazed by Tony Robbins, and then I was amazed by Tony, and then I was amazed by Tony Robbins. And I really love Tony Robbins a lot. Tony Robbins is a great speaker, and he is also an author. And my dad even has his books, but it kind, of, but it kind of got destroyed. Let's say that. And my dad really admires Tony Robbins a lot. One day, he paid for the program for ten thousand dollars. And he really loves Tony Robbins a lot. He even joins his Zoom meetings, but since he's not able to, his other friends join his Tony Rob join Tony Robbins meeting too, because they're also a fan of him too. And my dad joins the meetings and he has a lot of fun. And he wants to become a public speaker, just like Tony Robbins. I want to become just like my dad. And I really like this quote a lot because Yes, people should become must because the shoulds is never going to change you because the must is going to change you much more better.
And I really like this quote. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you guys will have a fantastic day. And, and if you have any story, record a video about that. Save the video. Upload it to Facebook or YouTube. Because it's going to make your public speaking leadership and confidence much more better. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.